Hey guys, so my 12 volt battery died. I'm gonna do a battery swap in 10 minutes. So this is the battery that I got from the shop. I think it was like $84, $86. I'm gonna open it up here. It's really heavy. I can grab it and take it out like that. So I've never done this before. We're gonna see how it turns out. So the first things they say is to roll down all windows, open up all the doors. And then if you come in on the screen, you have to turn off the temperature control. You swipe up, you hit the off, turn it off. And the next thing you do is you go into controls here, and you go to safety, and you go to turn off the power off the car. Power off. Next thing we come on over this way. Okay, now we go into the seat here, and you're gonna see right here, this, this back seat, there's a little latch, and if you put your finger on here, you're underneath the seat, you'll find it. It's a little bit tricky, you're gonna find it. It's right in there. And then you lift up on the seat, and the seat will actually come out a little bit. And you'll see right here, there's a, like a little styrofoam block. You pull that out. And then there's a latch right here. And you pull this down. And you pull this out all the way. Take this connector out. And then you gently let the seat back down. Leave the styrofoam in place. Then you come up here and you pull open the vent. Just grab all these. There's several white pieces. This whole thing will come off. Set that aside, and then you have here four white hooks. So you come in here and you just pull up on each one of them. There's two, three, four. And you take that out and put that aside. So now you grab a 10 millimeter socket and you come over here and you're gonna take off this um, this little uh, strap that's holding the battery in place. Okay, so essentially this little nut comes off right here. That comes off and then the bracket here comes off. And then this little guy pops out. I think you have to tilt it sideways. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, okay, you just push the back. There's a little lever. You push that back a little bit and it comes out. Okay, so the next step is to remove the negative terminal from the battery. So we come over here, this is live. So you make, you make sure the red cap is on the battery. You don't wanna to touch that. And since it's a live system right now, even though the power's off, the 12 volt battery's disconnected from the high voltage battery. As long as you're touching one lead, you're, you're gonna be okay. So once you loosen this, you don't wanna loosen it all the way and take it off. You loosen it enough to where it comes off. You come over here where you don't touch any of the metal. Lift up gently and it will come off. And then it's a good idea to have a rag and cover this up so it doesn't touch anything. And you can tuck that, o tuck that over there temporarily. T basically tuck it out of the way. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. The next thing that you're going to do is right over here there's a air vent. And you're going to see there's a little tube. This little guy right here. You can see it. You're going to pull that, pull that off. Okay, that comes off. Okay, and just set that aside gently. Sometimes the plastic can be brittle. And the last step now is to remove the positive terminal. So we're going to come over to the red cap. Here, take that off. And we're gonna start removing the positive terminal. Once you get it loose enough, you can stop, come down below, and lift up. Carefully, you might have to unscrew it some more.
give it a little bit of help while it's still on the wrench. Okay, and then the same thing, you're gonna cover this up with a rag and set that aside as best you can. And then the, the battery basically comes straight out. So we're gonna grab it from the handle and pull up. And there's the old battery. Okay, so with the old battery, there's a little clip in here, this little red cap. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that comes off and you keep that aside. And then the old battery you're gonna dispose of at your local Tesla service center. Old battery aside, bring the new battery. Now you can see the new battery here has the clip already in it. So we don't need to reuse that one. There we go, we slide the new battery in place. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is carefully move the positive away. There's a cap on the new battery, you're gonna take that off. There's a cap on the positive, the cap on the negative. We'll do one at a time just to be safe. So I'm gonna take the towel off very gently, expose the connector again, come back over, place the connector onto the battery and we're going to tighten it down. Nice and tight, and then cover it up. Next step is to put the air hose back on, the air vent. So there's that little hole, you just find it where it is, push it in just the same as it was before. Yep, there it is. You can push that in. Push that in as far as it'll go. Okay, great. And once you got that in, now you can remove the plastic cap from the negative terminal. Now we very carefully bring the negative terminal back up here into this area. Now the minute that you plug it in, the battery's gonna be live again. So you just do this, do this quickly. So you come over like this, don't touch any of the metal parts, and slide it down. So you may see a small spark, that's normal. So right when the noise starts up, you know you're doing something right. Tighten it down enough. You don't want to tighten it down with a death grip, but enough so that it's making a solid connection. Yeah, you don't want to go too tight. And then the last step is to put the bracket back in place. So to do that, we have our bracket here. And what we're going to do is place it in, back in the same way that it came. So the back latch needs to come forward. There we go, it clips in place. You want to make sure it's up, um, as much up as you can get it. So pull up on the bracket. I didn't realize that was part of the trick here. Pull up on the bracket, make sure it's hooked in on the back and the front, and then start tightening it. We've tightened that down. We've gotten all the brackets out. We can take these out of the car, move them away. Okay, and then what we're gonna do next is put on the vent cap for the fan. We're gonna bring that over here. You get four little clicks there, that's a not too complicated, but takes might take a little bit of practice. And then we'll close the close the frunk. We'll come over here, put together the bracket here in the back again. Put the clip in place. This this clip in place here. Push down, and then go up. Put your seat back in. Whoops, uh, so you might forget, as I just did, here to put this plastic or this styrofoam back in place. Now we can close all the doors. And everything should be back to normal. You can operate your car and turn on the air conditioning again and test everything out. Hope that was helpful. See you guys in the next video.